Let's review our problem and then see the VBA and 7-zip macro in action. We start off with a list of folders that we would like 7-zip to archive for us, as well as the stop string. The folders exist in this directory, which is inside the blog directory, inside the zip example directory. Folder one and folder two are straightforward, simply containing a single text file each. Folder three has subfolders where each subfolder contains a text file as well. And by design, we want our zip files to end up in C target folder. Here's the script that we put together earlier in this post, which you can find linked in the description. When we click run, we will eventually end up with zipped files inside our C target folder directory. And as you would expect, if we were to unzip folder three, we get subfolder one, subfolder two, subfolder three with the text files in each as expected.